There are four weeks left to the Tokyo Marathon and it's time for me to explain my running shoe rotation in this training block. I have been training now for almost eight weeks, seven and a half weeks. And I think it's time for me to detail a bit um, my running shoe rotation in this training block. We'll go by paces and different sessions I, I do, starting with easier ones and going to the, the harder sessions. And I'll explain which shoes I am using. Let's start right now with this one, the Nimbus 25. And this is really a shoe I'm using for recovery sessions and easy sessions. Let me explain the difference. Recovery is what I call sessions where I don't check the water, I don't check the pace, the power. I'm going just by, you know, by feel. And that's typically something I do on Monday after my long run on Sunday. On Monday, I just go for half an hour up to 40 minutes, easy jog, recovery pace, not checking the watch. And this is the shoe I would be using. I most of the time end up in, in the range between, you know, 515 to 545 minutes per kilometer. That's, you know, eight to nine minutes per mile, roughly. And this is typically, um, you know, paces at which I feel the, the Nimbus 25 is very, um, very comfortable being used. Uh, it's exactly providing me with what I need. I don't want to, you know, be forced to move faster because of the shoe geometry. Uh, the Nimbus has a soft cushion, lots of it in the heel with the pure gel technology. If you haven't seen the Nimbus 25 uh, review, go check it up here, upper right hand corner. But really the heel is very comfortable and on those recovery paces, I'm landing, you know, heel to midfoot um, with some weight here because my cadence isn't necessarily super high, especially if I'm a bit fatigued. Um, I tend to have a, a lower cadence on those um, easier runs. So the Nimbus 25 really does a trick. That's for the recovery runs. Easy runs are similar and I'm using sometimes the Nimbus and sometimes another shoe. Um, easy, the difference is with recovery that it's not necessarily the Monday runs. It can be at some other points in the week. Um, and I'm checking the pace and the power a bit more, not being too strict with it, but just having an idea of where I sit. And the range would be probably between, you know, 4.45 to 5.15. That would be my easy pace in this training block. Again, Nimbus 25 does the trick, except if the, the easy run is longer than, let's say, one hour, and then I'm switching shoes and I'm going for the ASICs. Um, Super Blast, which I'm gonna grab here in a second. ASIC Super Blast. Yes, today's intervals. I'm just warming up with a secret shoe because this is also one trick in your shoe rotation, using the right shoe for the right purpose. And some of them are meant for easy recovery paces, but also warm up and cool down. And then I'm gonna take some, you know, uh, carbon plated shoes from ASICs. Yeah. Nimbus for the warm up, two and a half K. And then two times 2000, one time 1000. Maybe, let's see. I think this is the, the session today. On the track, not too much volume, but just done properly. It will be a very, very good session. Nice weather. Uh, I'm very happy now. Let's go. The difference between the Nimbus and this shoe, and this is why I'm, I'm going for this one for longer durations, is mostly the compression of the foam and how my, uh, my feet need to be working, my feet muscles need to be working. In the Nimbus, the softness and the geometry in the forefoot um, make your feet muscles work a bit more, at least mine, and that's fine for me at easier paces and for shorter durations, but if I'm going for easy paces, but slightly longer durations, I prefer to have something that rolls a bit more and that requires a bit less um, pushing on the toes and a bit less of those feet muscles, you know, being recruited and, and working. So that's why I'm going for this one. The Super Blast also works for those endurance runs. So endurance runs are typically for me one hour up to one hour and 30 minutes. Um, I'm doing them around 4.30 to 4.50 minutes per kilometer. So, you know, 7.30 to eight minutes per mile, 7.15 up to eight minutes per mile. Uh, these are runs that are actually quite important for me because they help build the aerobic base. Uh, the easy runs and recovery runs play that role as well, but they're also, you know, helping to, to burn a bit um, the fats and work in that fat max zone. So the, the zone, the pace at which you are burning those fats, the, the more fats. The endurance pace is really building the aerobic engine. You're burning a bit less fats than at the easy pace, starting to, to burn a bit more um, glycogen 
and the two systems are, are working a bit, you know, half-half. So endurance pace, very important in my, in my marathon build. It's slightly below LT1, so your first lactate turn point. Um, and endurance pace, really important. I tend to really like the Super Blast for those paces. It's just the, the shoe I'm, I'm happy with at those paces. And for my, my foot injury, the one I had, I recovered from starting in this training block. And here you have, a, you know, you still have lots of cushions. So the Nimbus is cushioned. This is also cushioned, maybe a bit less in terms of softness, but you definitely have some foam under your foot and you can, um, you can play with it quite nicely if you're looking to protect a bit your um, your uh, feet. Recovery, easy, Nimbus, Endurance, Super Blast. And Super Blast actually goes a bit beyond just the Endurance paces. Uh, for tempo paces and even threshold paces, I also used the Super Blast mixed with another shoe. Why the Super Blast at tempo paces? So tempo paces are, you know, in the ballpark of your marathon pace, a bit faster than that, more your half marathon pace, playing slightly below your second lactate threshold, LT2. Tempo runs are very important, tempo workouts, tempo paces in your workouts are quite important um, to build that resistance at LT2 and push that LT2 further and further to have, you know, to be uh, moving at faster paces in your marathon, half marathon um, and 10k paces. So quite, quite important workouts. The Super Blast works well there despite feeling clunky. And that was also something I mentioned in my, in my Super Blast review. I like it because it's um, really, really lots of uh, deep cushion that doesn't feel too mushy or too inefficient at those um, tempo threshold paces. It's not my first choice, but if I'm doing a tempo session, threshold session on tired legs, then Super Blast would be, would be the, um, the choice. Switching shoes now, going from the Nimbus for the warm up to the Metaspeed Edge Plus for the session. Drinking a bit, getting a gel in, removing that layer, and we should be good for the first 2000. Uh, yeah. If it's not Super Blast, then I'm going for the Metaspeed. Edge Plus. This may come as a surprise to some of you because I preferred and I, you know, I still have a, a bit of a tension between Sky Plus and Edge Plus, but in this training block, I have been using the Edge Plus way more than the Sky Plus. The reason for that is really coming down to um, a slight change in my foot strike because of the foot injury I had on my right foot. I think it's a bit, you know, it's mental, psychological. I started striking a bit more towards the heel because I wanted to protect a bit that forefoot and stop loading it with too much uh, load um, on each and every step landing on my forefoot. So I went a bit to the heel and this shoe works really well if you're midfoot to heel striker and rolling forwards, um, having that nice, you know, nice roll to the, to the forefoot, uh, to your toe off phase. So the edge works really well for that. The edge I have been using on tempo runs, the tempo runs on the, in this block, I'm incorporating them with my long runs. So I'm doing long runs and I have a bit of tempo pace in my long runs. Threshold sessions in the, um, in the Edge Plus. This week I did a 3000, 2000, 2000, 1000 threshold session around 330 um, pace per kilometer. So that's, um, you know, 540 uh, minutes per mile, I guess somewhere there. And the Edge Plus were, was working fantastically well on the, on the track a few months ago. I would have gone for the Sky Plus, but now I'm going for the Edge Plus for those sessions. Race day, I'm on the fence. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick because my foot is really getting better. So the reason why I started using the Edge Plus is getting less and less relevant uh, to keep on using it. Maybe I'm gonna go for the Sky Plus, maybe the Edge Plus. Let's find out. Uh, this is gonna be a topic for an upcoming video, I guess, but um, yeah. And the Edge Plus works also really well for faster paces, uh, intervals, 800 meters, 400 meters. I'm not doing too much of them in this training block. Also because I don't wanna, you know, put too much stress on the body with faster paces that are not necessarily needed in a marathon block. Um, so, but the Edge Plus works also quite well up there. Three shoe rotation um, with the Nimbus, 
for the easy recovery paces and the warm-ups. And Super Blast does lots, lots of, of kilometers. If I had to give you um, a number, an estimate of the, you know, the time spent in each shoe, I would say Super Blast gets the, the more kilometers, the most time spent in, um, I would say this is probably something like 50%, 55% in the, in the Super Blast. This is the, the three shoes I'm, I'm really using. I hope this is useful for you to have also, you know, some inspiration on how to build a shoe rotation and how to do it without having necessarily six, seven shoes, five shoes in your, in your rotation. You could do it with two shoes. I could remove the Super Blast, to be honest, and do everything up to endurance in the Nemus 25 and then up or faster than endurance pace in the in the edge plus i could remove the nimbus and have only two shoes do everything in the um, in the super blast even recovery paces work work really well in 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 this shoe and then do do the rest in the in the edge plus that's also an option so two shoe rotation is also doable with these two um or or these two like this i hope you're in, you enjoyed this uh shoe focused episode of the tokyo series uh, we're really having a, a blast, a super blast, doing this series with ASICs. Um, let's see you in the next one, which will be uh, quite interesting because it will be in my hardest week of this training block. In the meantime, enjoy your run, maybe in ASICs shoes. Enjoy your ride and go beyond your limits. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>